Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of the video diving. How's it going? Hello. Um, what's been going on today, eh? It's really late in the morning and I'm really ridiculously tired. But Dad was watching football until stupid o'clock. So I couldn't really talk to you until then because Mother's in bed and I can't talk to you upstairs because I'll wake her up and my voice carries because I've got a relatively deep voice and ah, so good morning. Also, hay fever is screwing up my eyes again. Sorry about that, lol. Um, but yeah, hello. What's been going on today? We got up at half past eight today, which was pretty early, which is why I'm pretty pretty tired now. But I need to tie myself out relatively uh, for tomorrow as well. Um, well, not really. But I'm going to get up at like nine-ish tomorrow, I think. I have a bit of a lion. <laughs> half an hour lion. Yeah, I got up at half past eight, uh, uploaded a video because that's what I do. Uh, uploaded a video and just kind of sorted stuff out for a bit upstairs um, before coming downstairs for breakfast. Oh no, I went, came downstairs, picked up Dad, um, took Dad to go and pick up his car because he's got it, got it tea cutted or something. And that means it's like, gets like a mini valet or something, I don't know. Valet, valet, anyone? Um, but yeah, so we went to go and do that and then came back here and then I've been programming and I've been programming relatively for the first half of the day because that's what I wanted to do. Obviously I wasn't at work today because I refused to work it and um, I wanted to be able to sit down and really like nestle into some programming for a bit and I'm glad I did because I was making a bit of a hash of chess. I'd kind of forgotten that I'd already embedded a load of code earlier and I was making it a mess and it was really ugly and I had to go in and I had to delete I actually just cut just great big chunks of code because I didn't realise it was messing up other code that I had already implemented that would have been better. But I now have a user interface. Um, it's building up at the moment. I have um, the chess, it says chess, and then it has all of the details of all the players. So it will say like the player name, uh, number of moves, da 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 da, and it will load, the, all, it will load that up from save game, whether you're a server, whether you're not a server. So that's now loaded, that's being put to the side. Um, I'm now trying to figure out a way, now I've done that I can add in the, the little chat panel as well, uh, the chat window for server client communication, which I'm, is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'll probably do that next actually. But what I'm also thinking about doing is how to do the pieces, and how to do the board itself. Because last time I did it, I did it in VB and not in Java, so I wasn't doing object oriented programming. Um, last time I did it, I did, um, there was a data, there's the visible board that you can see, and then there's a data board behind it, basically. And then when you click on that button, it will go, okay, then so I'm naught naught, let's say on this grid, what's behind me? A castle. Okay, I can go here and here, here, run it through the algorithms to find out what's, and then keep relating between the data sphere and the thingy one. So we'll go there, or we can go there, change things like that, basically. And then each button would have its own code. They would all basically have the same code to say, what's in my data piece? If it's this, do this. If it's this, do this. But obviously Java doesn't work like that because Java's object orientated. It's not procedural. So I'm trying to figure out the best way of doing it. Um, short of having 64 buttons, like coding in 64 separate buttons with separate code and stuff like that. And I'm trying to figure out exactly how to. And I was having a thought, I was having a thought about it. And instead of having buttons with pictures on it then changing the pictures based on what's moved why don't we have buttons are actually the actual pieces so when you move a piece you're actually moving the entire button and then I was thinking about maybe making the pieces an extension of the button which means that by invoking a button not a button by invoking a piece I have the options to just Put a button into place. It kind of makes sense, but only if you make if you understand Java. Um, if I extend the button, if I extend the button class from the pieces class, then that means the pieces has all of the code that the button does. So I think that should make it easier because that means all I need to do is generate for each piece I've got, I generate a button, and then for empty, I generate a couple, um, a couple, uh, a lot, and then I have a couple of spares as well. Uh, well, 64, I guess, when pieces start getting taken and stuff like that. So that's my thought. And I thought about it while I was at Lovelace today. And it's actually quite a good idea. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy about that idea. But yeah, obviously, as I'm about to tell you, uh, we went to Lovelace today. Uh, we went at about 3, 4-ish. 
and today's been a really really hot day like really hot and I've been suffering maybe all day uh, I didn't take a tablet though until about I was going to love this and then I said oh by the way we're sitting outside no like if there's one thing you should you should pick up about me is I don't suit hot weather like I detest I go on holiday to hot places people always ask me this why do you go on holiday to hot places but why don't but you don't like heat in England because it's not heat it's horrible heat here I don't like it at all I'm at home I just want to just chill and just be cool that's why they invented indoors. If I go on holiday, I want to go outside. It's completely different. If I get too hot, I just jump in a swimming pool. It's completely different. It's like an instantaneous cool down. And there's nothing like that at home in England, except if you get a cold shower or something. Um, but so yeah, we were sat in the garden, basically in a tree, because <laughs> the bench is like surrounded by plants. Um, and then talking to our entire family in the garden. And <laughs> God damn it. You could tell, like, I'm, like, suffering from hay fever, trying to hide the fact that I'm suffering from hay fever. Getting a bit ratty because it's... <laughs> God, dear me. I don't think anyone else picked up on, like, how awkward I was finding it, but it was pretty damn awkward. So lovely. Um, but we went for a barbecue, which was nice. Although they do barbecue differently, which is actually quite a good idea. I thought about it. For a small... What they do is they just cook everything and then just, like, share it all out. Whereas what we do is, like, cut the burgers. Everyone has a burger. Da, 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 da. It just stops all the back and forth. It's actually a really good idea. Um, it was just a way to get used to it because it's basically just like a normal dinner except cooked on a barbecue um, so we had barbecue and then we went upstairs and we uh, looked at a couple of things on the internet I'm looking at new glasses, new sunglasses and I think I've picked the sunglasses I want um, I'll show you them when or if I order them um, we've looked at the hotel we're staying in in New Year, <laughs> why not um, at, over New Year in London and we played a couple of internet games and watched a couple of YouTube videos and then we basically didn't do much like I said we went through Lovely's Kindle Lovely's trying to find some books to read on holiday like summer reads the problem is half of my books are all like gritty books about cannibals or paedophiles and stuff like that so she's not really she's not really into my kind of book as summer reads and I'm saying Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy it's a brilliant book it's definitely a summer read god damn it um, so yeah, I was going through a Kindle for you, just trying to find out if we could find more books and things. And she's trying to wear down the battery as well, because obviously using the Wi-Fi uses the battery a lot more than not using the Wi-Fi. Um, she's, and she hasn't charged it since it got out of the box, so she's been draining the battery so she can charge it up for holiday as well. So, she loves that little Kindle, which is awesome. Um, but otherwise, we didn't really do much. More than that, did we? I want to say no. I don't think we did. Or if we did, it wasn't really worth mentioning I we just talked and stuff and then I came back here at 11 o'clock at night which is a long time and then Deb has been watching bloody football so I went upstairs played a bit of Minecraft for a bit watched all my YouTube videos and now I want to go to bed because tomorrow we've got the work shift from hell starting at 2 o'clock finishing at 10 but the day after that we're going to London so the day after you see this video go live I'm going to London, baby. Me and Lovely. It's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Ah, it's just a shame I have work the day before because I'm like, I want to plan it and I'm going to be all excited. But hey ho, I've got to buckle down to work and maybe some programming tomorrow. Probably implementing the chat plane uh, so that the server and client can communicate with each other. Um, just like plain text, like Facebook chat style. So yeah. Oh, I'll go to bed. <laughs> my eyes, man, my eyes. I'll catch you later.